you know, shallow crankbait is something that I've caught a ton of fish on over the years. I've probably won more money on shallow crankbaits, especially early in my career when we had a lot more tournaments in the winter time and early spring. But you know, this is what you call a shallow crankbait. It's a, a smaller, smaller lipped crankbait that comes through the water, vibrates. Um, this one right here, this is a Spro Little John. It runs about four to five feet deep. And you're gonna throw that bait around cover, believe it or not. The bank is cover. Uh, like right here, I was just paralleling this bank. That's what you want to do to, to make your cast more productive when you're shallow crankbait fishing. But you want to keep that bait in the strike zone as long as possible. You want to have that, that crankbait, as it's, as it's coming through the water, you want to have it bouncing off of cover, whether that's the bottom or it's laydowns or rocks or in, any kind of cover along the bank. You want to have that bait hitting it and bouncing it. That's going to trigger a lot of your strikes on this bait right here. Now, going through the whole system, we talked a little bit about the shallow crankbait. There's a zillion different shallow crankbaits out there to fish. I mean, some of them are really good. Some of them, not so much. Some of them don't run worth a crap, to be honest with you. But each crankbait has its own time that it can shine. This Spro Little John, very good in the early spring and in the fall. Uh, it's got a uh, what I call a, a pivoting action, meaning the whole bait pivots back and forth like this. Crankbaits have all different types of actions. You know, you got your shad wrap, a real tight, real easy wiggles. You got your wiggle warts, you know, your rock crawlers, the real wild crankbait actions. Those are all relatively shallow crankbaits. When I say shallow, I mean less than 10 feet. That's what I classify as shallow. Like I said, this bait runs four to five feet. You've also got square bill crankbaits which are rounder, rounder baits that, that, that vibrate really hard. Sometimes they like that real hard vibration. Sometimes they want the more subtle vibration. It just kind of depends on what you want that bait to do uh, on that particular day. Those fish will tell you what they want. You've got to keep trying different, different types of crankbaits till you find out that vibration that they want for that particular day or that time of day and you'll be in business. One other question that I get is round bend trebles versus extra wide gap hooks. That's a very good question. Go check out my other video on exactly that subject right there and I'll tell you the difference in when to use one versus the other. There he is. That's a good one too. Got my face full of it. There he is, shallow cranking at its best, baby. Woo! Got that little John all the way down in his mouth. Got both, both sets of hooks in there. That's what you want. That's when you know you got the right vibration, and you got the right, you got the right color, the combination. Bam. And what I'm doing here is I'm just cranking the bank. Uh, this is real popular for, for shallow crankbait fishing. And what I mean by cranking the bank is you get your boat close to the bank and you cast as much as parallel as you can so that you can utilize the whole cast as in productive water, or as, as they say, in the strike zone. So I'm casting up towards the bank I'm letting that crankbait hit the cover, bounce along, and like that fish, uh, that fish is pretty shallow. So, when you make your cast, you're gonna start reeling until your bait gets down to the bottom. Once it starts hitting the bottom, you can start kind of alternating your retrieve. You can slow it down a little bit. You can speed it up a little bit try different cadences a lot of times that change of pace the stop start that will also trigger additional strikes in you know just like hitting the bottom or hitting the stick or hitting the uh anything any other object that you can even, even grass can be a great trigger for your crankbait to hit so your system that you're throwing your crankbait on needs to be right i like throwing my crankbaits if i can on a bait caster now this is a, a 
a Cashin square bill rod. I made it for throwing square bill style crankbaits. And what you what I've got here, this is a medium heavy type action, but you can see it's parabolic. That rod bends throughout the whole rod. It bends throughout the whole rod. That's what you want from a crankbait rod. You want that rod to have that parabolic bend so that those fish can get the bait better. And you can also not have those fish pull off uh, when they get close to the boat on those treble hooks. You can use a, a spinning rod if you want, as long as it has that soft parabolic bend, that will be fine. But for me, I like a bait caster, I like a six, four to one reel, and then I'm gonna use as light of line as I can get away with. I'm gonna use 10 or 12 pound test Sunline Sniper. It's a fluorocarbon, works very well. If you wanna throw the Crank FC, I like that a whole lot. It's a very supple line. But what you want in a crankbait line is you want one that's sensitive and it's very supple so that it casts well. Obviously, you want to get the best crankbait line that you can. Some people can only afford to get monofilament. That's okay. You're not going to be hurt by using a, a lower-priced monofilament line on your on your shallow crankbaits. Um, you know, sometimes you actually might land more fish than you would on fluorocarbon. But with my system of my rod, reel, and my line, the way I've got my fluorocarbon, I don't have that issue. So that's uh, that's kind of the rod, reel combination that you that you want to have. So hopefully that'll help you get started with shallow crankbait fishing. Remember the name of the game is trying different crankbaits. Um, you want to try different colors. We have a video on the different colors of the crankbaits as well. So try to throw that bait as far as possible. Cover as much water as possible by keeping your boat or casting parallel to the bank so that you keep that bait in the strike zone longer. You'll catch some fish with that shallow crankbait and you'll have a lot of fun doing it too.